Hi everyone, this is Prasanna. You guys have requested me for the quant strategy. The topics covered in this video will be the sources that I used. I mostly rely on the free YouTube resources and also the mock test that I have used to clear my SBI PO examination will be covered in this video. Let's get to the video. Okay, let's say you are a beginner now. So the first thing you are going to do is clearing your basics. So how should you exactly clear your basics? You can rely on many YouTube sources, but one channel that exactly that helped me to clear my basics is feel free to learn. This channel is available in Tamil as well as it is available in English. You can choose whatever you prefer. He will teach in layman terms. So it will be very easy for clearing your basics. But one thing you have to do is you just need to follow only one method to solve a question. You need not want to know. Uh, 10 methods, 5 methods to solve more questions. So, the other sources that you can utilize are uh, these sources will be available in Tamil. If you prefer, you can choose them. And the sources are uh, CWJ, Radhina Kwans, Kanish Rina, and there are lots of Tamil sources available. Particularly, I have chosen this, which is also helped me to clear my basics. So, the first thing you have to see is the percentage topic, then ratio and proportion. These two things you must be very very clear because in quants this is going to be often repeated so you need to be very clear with these topics so after getting clear in these topics you have to go for the speed maxims which will be the simplification approximation missing numbers wrong numbers quadratic equation that's it these are the things that will actually boost your marks in your prelims so the next thing you have to do is just go for the DA sums because percentage and ratio and proportion will help you in solving the DI sums. See a lot of DI sums. But because while starting, the DI would be uh, something like hard. But after practicing a lot, you can see that DI is a very good scoring session. There will be mostly two DIs in your preliminary exams, which is a very easy scoring part. As you know, I had only seven months of preparation. So, application topics, I learned totally basics. I never uh, get further uh, into the advanced form. So the topics that I have skipped was mensuration, probability. Mensuration, I know about the squares, rectangles or something. But I skipped, probably I have completely skipped the part. I don't recommend you to do that. But if you have very less time, then you can surely skip this part. Because mostly I don't touch the application sums in the exams. But if I had enough time after finishing all my questions, then I will get to the applications problem. That too only lost. When the exam is started, I will look into the all 35 questions and I mark these application sums because these speed math sums I will solve as soon as I solve them. But application problems are slightly tricky for me. So I will mark them and after finishing all the speed maths, DI sums, I will get to the applications which are all easy that I have marked. Only I will touch the sums. And one important tip would be, don't choose case lets if you are going to attend them lastly. Let's say you have 5 minutes after you attend all these questions. You are going to touch a case let. If the answer comes, then you will get 5 marks very very easily. Because the 5 questions will be very much easy after you solve the case lets. But if you couldn't solve, you will actually lose your all the 5 marks. So that time you can choose the application sum and you can solve them. Just be clear with your basics alone. So let's say, now you have cleared your basics and you started to take mocks. So what is the exact percentile that you should maintain so that you can move to the mains preparation? The percentile that you should take is let's say somewhere around more than 70 percentile. Don't get me wrong. After getting the 70 percentile, you shouldn't stop your preparation. Just what I am saying is now you are in the safe place so that you can prepare for your mains examinations. If you are very low behind this, then it will be really tough for you to crack your preliminary examination. What I am exactly saying is, just see you are taking more than 70 percentile. If your preliminary mock test, your score is more than 70 percentile, then you can move to your mains preparation. The mistakes that I have done during my preliminary preparation was, I didn't take mocks regularly. I just took it weekly and I saw that my scores haven't improved, my percentile hasn't improved. Then I really got frustrated that I don't know what to do. Then I did one method. I took mock regularly, that is daily, and saw what are the mistakes that I have made. Which session I am losing mocks. Let's say for me in the DA session, I was not quick enough to solve a DA. So what I did to improve this is, I just uh, see a lot of YouTube videos 
and see a lot of questions and practice them a lot. There is lots of videos available in YouTube. You can make use of them and solve them slowly. Practicing is very important. You need to practice them a lot. Try to solve a lot of questions and then definitely you can see you can easily solve them. Then I did this exactly and I took mocks daily and slowly after some time my marks have been improved and my percentile was improved. Another important thing that you are doing here is you are actually get adapted to the mock test. So that's why your scores and percentile is gradually increasing while you take mocks daily and it is very much helpful for you to analyze where you are making mistakes. Another important tip that I am going to give in preliminary examination is if you are taking a full mock then see you are, whether your quants is improving or not. If your quants is not improving, you can also take many sectional mocks as you can and see the percentile is increasing or not. So these are the preparations that you can do to increase your marks in the preliminary examination. So now let's say uh, in the mock test your preliminary marks are really good and you get a good percentage of above 70 percentile. So you have to start for your mains preparation. You can actually do your mains preparation side by side with the prelims but after getting more than 70 percentage then you are in a safe side and let's say you are not going to stop the mock of prelims uh, then you can also take them and slowly gradually improve them to 80, 90 which will be very beneficial in your preliminary examination. How to exactly start this mains preparation? Now the other source that I am going to re uh, reveal is very much important the merit chain video. The merit chain video is very much beneficial where the Abhishek sir's quants video are really great. You can rely on this source. He will give you a clear idea and different perspective on how to approach a problem and see how the methodology he used actually helps you to solve the problems and see whether if it works then you can take. If it don't works, no worries. There is lot of YouTube sources that you can rely on. Now let's say you have practiced a lot. Then what you can do is rely on most of the YouTube sources. There will be lot of marathons for mains problems and see lot of previous year questions. See how the questions have been framed and try to solve them first. After solving them and see how your quants mark is. If it is low, you shouldn't fear to take mock. Just take the mock and see how your scores are. Let's say your quant score is really low. No worries. We can slowly gradually improve it. That's why the mock test is. It is not the real examination. If you get low marks, don't get demotivated. Just take mocks with confidence. But take it daily. So that only you can understand where you are doing mistakes and where you can improve them. If you see in a particular topic you are doing a mistake, then you can improve them by utilizing the URL of YouTube sources. In my case, how I exactly approach a mains mock in a quants is, first I will visit every questions in the quants and they will mark the questions. You can also spend 3 to 5 minutes because in mains mock the question selection is very much important. It is not about how many questions you are going to answer. It is about how accurately you are going to pick up the question and answering them. That is very much important in the mains examination which you will get by practicing a lot of mains mock tests. So after uh, selecting all the questions, I will mark them. Let's say there will be easy one marks like the quadratic equation, missing number wrong numbers will be combined but they will be easy where uh, let's say missing number and wrong number you might have seen this question like there will be a missing number in which the missing number will be A. There will be a wrong number which will be B. Now what will be also given is whether A plus B is a prime number or A into B is a odd number. This is very easy which you can answer and get marks. This, these are the questions that will actually boost your marks. If you spend more time on these hard questions, you might not see these easy questions. That's very important in taking a main mark for quants. You need to know which question to skip and which question to approach. Then after doing this quadratic, uh, missing number, wrong number and other topics, I will then approach the DIs. There will be actually mostly 3 DIs or sometimes 2. But there will be one DA which is based on application. For me, this DA will be very hard, so I will skip them. The next DA will be based on the percentage and ratio mixed one, which will be actually easy, but it will actually take some time, unlike the prelims question. So, I try to solve this question, and after finishing the question, mostly the time will run out, and if I see that I have more time, then I will approach any other miscellaneous questions. So, this is how I approach a quants in main smock. So now I am going to give you some fear factors that you will face in quants and how did I exactly overcome this. When you approach the marathon videos that is available on YouTube, you may see when the sir posts the question, 
in the live chat you can see the answer in 10 to 15 seconds i am not going to lie i am the person who saw that live chat and i was feared how exactly are they aliens or something how they do this very fast and one thing i came to know is that is the result of their own efforts you have to put your own efforts what i am trying to say is not exactly to become them but put your own consistent efforts don't just uh, see this and get demotivated because i felt like slightly demotivated slowly i overcame it was very simple i just ignored it by turning off the live chat i approach the sum if the sir starts to solve the sum then i simply pause and i will start to solve them slowly because accuracy is very important you have to if you put 10 questions then you have to get the 10 correct that is very important you don't want to solve every 40 questions or 50 questions that is available in the mains examination if you put 10 questions do it accurately that is very important so now the additional tip i am going to give is which will actually help you to boost your marks in this additional tips i followed some and i couldn't follow some because of the time constraints the very important thing in quants is they say mental math i tried this mental math and i failed miserably because of the time constraint i couldn't learn them but i did learn the mental math in basic level it really helped me at some places so if you had enough time then please learn this mental math because it will be, it will show you a difference between you and the other aspirants if the mental math is not coming don't worry don't push your limits on the mental math because that is not important solving the question is very important the next tip i am going to give is uh, learn the multiplication learn multiplication up to 1 to 20 which is more than enough i don't want you to memorize the questions i just want you to know which number comes in which table for example when you approach a quadratic equation let's say that the question is x square minus 28x plus 171 so i will simply say 19 into 9 because 19 plus 9 28 19 into 9 171 so that's it you just need to know where this 171 number will come in the 19 table that is important you don't exactly have to memorize all the tables in 1 to 20 just know which number comes in which table that is more than enough the, so the next thing you have to learn is the squares and cubes for squares you can learn up to 1 to 25 because which is more than enough and i've never seen more than 25 coming in examinations if you wish you can uh, learn more than 25 is very good but if you have limited amount of time just learn up to 25 at least then the next is cube cube you can learn up to 1 to 30 if you have uh, if you have limited amount of time then minimum learn 1 to 30 if you have enough time just 1 to 15 will be enough because I didn't see more than 13 itself coming in exam so 15 is more than enough for you so these are the tips that you can use in preparing your quants and try to take a lot of mocks analyze them slowly and carefully and approach only the sums that you are strong so use all the methodologies see what workouts because some workouts for you some will not work out don't push your limits on what not working out for you just see what workouts and make it strong that will be more than enough because in youtube there was more tips uh, saying me to approach the application sum which actually didn't work out for me and i stopped approaching it after a later so see what workouts for you and do it you will surely succeed so these are the tips that i have followed for my quant strategy you can leave a like subscribe any other queries you have just drop it down in the comments and i will see you in the next video thank you